It's the rise of the Joker. Here's my card. He's terrifying. And I thought my jokes were bad. It's pretty amazing to see an actor, uh, you know, come to set as himself, as an ordinary guy, you know, with the makeup on and everything, but as he, and then just get into character and create this monster. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. Heath just immersed himself completely in it, did a superb job, was very satisfying to work opposite. And, uh, you know, the, the, the tricky thing is, is, is that, uh, you know, should Chris decide to make a third movie, how the hell do we uh, surpass what Heath achieved with the Joker? Let's put a smile on that face. I do feel like he loved his character, he loved to act, uh, he loved doing this movie, he loved Chris, um, and we all got such joy from watching him do this. I mean, when I had my time with Heath in the movie, I um, it was in total awe of him, you know? Uh, I was just watching him, I was, I'm in a kind of a, a paralyzed state or whatever, and I was just watching him do his thing, and just kind of hanging on and doing my job and admiring him at the same time. Because it's all part of the plan. Being around that was inspiring and fun. Anything I throw at him, I'll take it. It was great. It was just great. <coughs> <laughs> A little fight in you. I like that. I think he's remarkable in the movie. I think he's doing something in this movie that, um, is extremely rare, even among the greatest actors. I think it happens only, only every once in a while. I think you and I are destined to do this forever. He, he gives a phenomenal performance in this. No one is more deserving. And, and nothing to do with the circumstances now. I mean, of course, I wish Heath was here talking about this as well. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with that. Uh, you know, but if, if, he was, if he was here, he would still be deserving of an award for this. He, he's done an incredible job.